Hey everybody, Sean here, and today we are going to go through the first phase, the first week of the Shadowlands uh, pre-patch event. I'm going to be doing this on my druid Shumi, uh, who is a fresh level 50, has not uh, done this event yet, so we're going to start it from the very beginning, starting with the quest invite so got an urgent request here matter requires our attention got a report report to uh, Orgrimmar Champion, the regent lord requests your immediate presence in Orgrimmar the matter is of a sensitive nature further details will be provided when you arrive please do not delay all right here we go <clears throat> so these pre-patch events are always fun. Uh, this one is okay. It's not the greatest. Um, but these are unique events that only happen for a limited time, and then that's it. Then they're done. So there's certain things you will only ever be able to get as part of these events. Uh, so that's what we're going to go look at. Acting in haste may cost us dearly. It would serve us well to continue our investigation before taking action. The beauty of Eversong endures. Alright, so something happened. We find strength in the hall. What I'm about to share will be revealed to others in due time. Your discretion is of the utmost importance. The eternal sun still guides us. Alright, so the horde has come under siege. And, uh... Something's happened. I know what it is. Let's go, Let's go take a look at what happened. What happened? The light of... So previously on the World of Warcraft, Sylvanas uh, destroyed the Helm of the Lich King, which tore open the veil between Azeroth and the Shadowlands. So Sylvanas has come and taken away uh, the rebuilding many of the the uh, Horde and Alliance leaders. <clears throat> uh, for the Horde, she took Thrall and Bane. And then for the Alliance, she took Anduin uh, and uh, Jaina. Um, 
So, so now uh, it appears like um, the Argent Crusades come around. So we need to go. Her actions. I cannot deny that we need to work with them. Is a master tactician. The scourge Let's attacks Let's and go. the abductions must be part of a larger strategy. The Alliance is every bit as wounded as the Horde. King Ren and Lady Proudmoor were taken. There you they go. also came for Tyranda Whisperwind, but she neutralized her attackers. Strength and honor. Really? I knew the Night Warrior's <clears throat> power had grown, but to dispatch an adversary that even Jaina Proudmoor could not. So now we gotta go do a uh, a little a little circle of uh, quests here. These are pretty straightforward and fast. Our so we check in with this guy, fall. and uh, he wants us to go. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. The guy in Orgrimmar wanted it, wanted us to come Death. check with him and a couple other folks. So nothing's really going on right now outside the gates of Orgrimmar. I suspect in week two next week. Um, coming up here in a few days that stuff will be happening. I believe there's going to be a full-on scourge invasion similar to what happened prior to the Wrath of the Lich King um, expansion. So now we're here in Razor Hill, <clears throat> checking in with them. And as you can see here, there's some scourge running around and there's a frost worm flying through the air uh, not a whole lot's going on but there's some there's some dead bodies around uh, but nothing that we're gonna be concerning ourselves with Let's see here's some more more dead bodies <clears throat> Last area is right over here, and if I recall, they didn't even get uh, their reinforcements. They didn't even show up. Yeah, riders. There haven't been any reports from the field. Oh no, they had sent for reinforcements. So, uh, yeah. All right, and now we're going to the infamous crossroads, which is where, um, in the Legion pre-expansion, there was a there were huge Legion battles there. The battles that are going on in crossroads, at least in week one, I don't know what's going to happen in week two, if anything. We may not ever come back here, but in week one, it's it's pretty tame. Um, it's just an endless supply of. Uh, Scourge and and cultists and there's frost worms flying through the air so you can get you can get iced. <clears throat> I love the music out here. State your business. All right, so now we got to kill six cultists and four scourge, and really all I got to do is tag them. Because there's enough people here killing things that they'll be dead before I uh, before I have to do too much damage. I am out of range. So I'm good on scourge. Now I just need to hit the cultists. I do not have a target. Whoops! Oh, missed that one. There's one, I must and he's dead. There's one. Let's find some more. Just need two more. Yeah, these guys are going down quick. All right, there's my four. Okay. Let's go back to Orgrimmar. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Before I do that, let me turn in the quest. Alright, let's go back to Orgrimmar now. Keep your wits about you. And let me fly in here just in case so I don't get hit. 
pretty sure the Broken Tusk is, is in Orgrimmar. Maybe this is in Zandalar. I don't remember. Nope, it's in Orgrimmar. Okay. And I will reassure the Justicar. She has our full support. Our reinforcements will be arriving shortly. Okay, so now there's two different directions we gotta go. There's uh, Ice Crown, which I'm gonna save for last, and then uh, there's this guy, Neth. Neth, Neth oh god, ne bleh. Nathanos Blightcaller. Um, he's a world quest. He drops uh, eye level 110. Excuse me, 115. No, I think it's what. Mm, it might be 115. I don't remember. Well, we'll go check. We gotta go. We're gonna go kill him first uh, because since this is a fresh level 50, my weapon, as you can see, item level 60, uh, is gonna get a pretty big upgrade. So this guy is uh, Sylvanas's second in command. Oh poop. Well, I guess I gotta do the the long way around because I'm still in olden, olden times. Tiras Vale, but that's okay. Tiras Fall. So I'm I'm in the past. If you're in present day, then you would actually appear on this side of the continent or the the zone. You'd appear over here. So it would be just a little less time, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna we gotta fly through the western plague lands to the eastern plague lands. To kill Mr. Blightcaller. Uh and as you can see by the world quest, he does drop one fifteen loot and it appears that it's always going to be a, a weapon at least in week one not sure what week two is going to look like you can only fight him once well you can fight him as many times as you want but you're only going to get gear once per week per character so Let's see here. All right, so there's folks. Uh, I'll sign up, and hopefully by the time I get there, he'll be semi down, so we won't spend too long fighting him. It's a it's a pretty simple battle. He just stands in one spot on his hill of uh, his hill of bones. And um, he inflicts players with poison. So certain players get poison that drop poison on the ground. So you got to make sure you don't stand in the poison. And then he shoots uh, these area of effect uh, arrow. Oh my gosh, this raid is doing terrible. These folks do not know how to fight this guy. Honestly, I might get killed too. He, he for folks who are uh, undergeared... <laughs> He does hit like a truck, like you die pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try and just get a get an attack off and then um, try and heal myself throughout the battle. Yeah, that guy's smart. All right, let's see. Oof. Stand and face me, cowards! Oh boy. Jeez. So I guess if you're not even, uh, <laughs> uh, so if you come in, if you're not on the ground, then he'll just blast you out of the sky. So that's, so that's fun. I get to run all the way back. <clears throat> it's funny, I'm not the only one uh, who's dead. There's this guy there.
Let's just hope he's still alive by the time I get there, so I can at least get a get a shot in on him. I'm not even sure I can target him right now. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Whoops, see there's those arrows. Dang. Dang. Heal up. So as long as I don't go into the grass. Into the grass, into the poison or the arrows. healing myself and I'll be good. I've never been much for sentiment, but this All takes right. me back to the old He's days. pretty much dead. I think the fight ends at like between 15 and 20 percent, maybe 10 percent. This is Taronda. This was the uh, the night elf that Sylvanas was not able to uh, capture. She's also the queen of the night elves. Completely powerless to stop the coming. So previously on the World of Warcraft in the last expansion, Sylvanas completely torched her uh, her kingdom. All right, there we go. Defeated. So now I can leave the raid and 
Let's, uh... Let's check out what we got here. Dang, look at that. I'm gonna have to equip this. Here we go. That is pretty cool. It's like this gargoyle demon thing. Neat. So, just for perspective, uh... Yeah, 4.4 DPS increase, 52 intellect. So, my intellect on my weapon almost doubled. Uh, 52 was probably about 15%. And maybe a little less, a little less than that. Um, of what I had before, so... My, uh, my spells and everything just got, just went up by a pretty decent amount. Okay, now we gotta get back to Orgrimmar. I really don't want to fly back, so we're gonna use the Dalaran Hearthstone. Because now, we're gonna go to Northrend and check some of that out. So now we go to, here we go, the Dalaran of Northrend. Alright, so it's 11.12, there's going to be a, um, let's see if I can check this out here real quick. There's going to be a uh, a boss. Let's see. I know I just cut the music out. Uh, 11:20. The next boss is Lady Death Whisper, who appears. Let's see. Where does she appear? Da 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 da. da. Where does she appear? Hmm. Oh, she appears at the gates. Okay. Um, and she drops a bow, some leather. Okay, leather. A leather chest. So that's what we're going to go after. All right. But before that, uh, we're going to come up here. Oof, I hate that. We're going to come up here and do the, um, the intro quest line. And then we'll go kill a rare and then... Then we shall be done. So we're going to um, the Argent Tournament Grounds. I think I thought this was pretty cool. So, so this this area uh, when this event is not going on, and back in the uh, uh, Lich King expansion days, this is where you would um, mount up on a horse and you would you would do some uh, some jousting, and you could uh, you could joust with people from all the different the different uh, races. Well. I just I think it's funny how somebody came over here and knocked down the uh, <laughs> the Hunter City banner because Sylvanas decided to uh, cause a whole lot of problems. So nice nice little attention to detail there. Forgive me, but I believe that to be antiquated thinking, Justica. Yes. We must act now before it is too late. If we continue to delay, our opportunity may be lost. Until we meet again, you All have my attention. Best. We shall prevail. How may I help you? Okay, so got a lot to do. Got to kill uh, 
We gotta kill 12 of these guys now. This may take a time. And we probably won't finish in time because at 11.20 we gotta go fly across. We gotta go fly across. To fight the boss! But if I can heal six guys, that would be great. Because then I can pick up this other quest. And really made things a lot easier because it usually takes me a little bit longer to down a down a character or an enemy at my level. Start collecting Argent Stones or whatever these things are called. I serve. Stand true. Here we go. How are you? Say trout. Okay. So now I've got this new currency, Argent Commendation, and once you get 15, you can start trading in. <clears throat> you can start trading them in for gear, which all of this gear is I level 100. Which, for somebody who uh, is a fresh level 60, excuse me, fresh level 50, uh, this is definitely going to come in handy. Have a good one. <clears throat> and get us ready for Shadowlands. I still have a few minutes, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and fly to where the next boss is going to show up. <clears throat> and we'll kill some stuff around the boss while we're waiting. So some of the stones, uh, so let's see. So there's this drop called uh, Darkened Scourge Stone, and then there's, uh, I think they're Blackened Scourge Stones that drop from bosses. And when you have enough of them, you can turn them into that guy, and he will give you some of this currency that you need to buy uh, some of that catch-up gear. There's also a pet and a broom, which currently isn't a toy. It's currently not even really useful in week one. Everybody thinks uh, it'll be a week two thing. Um, but anyway, so so some of the stones that I've already picked up didn't uh, count for this quest yet because I hadn't gotten the quest. But now that I have the quest, any of these that I pick up will increase this bar. And then upon completion, I'll get five accommodations and you need 15 for a piece of gear and every boss you kill you get like 30 something uh, 30 something of the blackened stones and you only need 25 to turn in so every boss you kill you get three pieces of gear so um, excuse me three accommodations so five bosses essentially equals a piece of loot um, let's see, so where is Lady Death Whisper supposed to be? She's around here somewhere. Uh, I know she's not up yet. Let me double check the map. Okay, so she should be... She should be... Maybe she's right at the... Right at the steps. Yep. Too far away. That's interesting. All right. Well, somebody else tagged that. So. Let's 
see if there's anything else I can kill in the meantime. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I can't get them out. so we can watch the boss spawn in. And after this, I'm gonna quickly go up and see what's going on up there. If anything. So this is Ice Crown Citadel. There we go. Lady Death Whisper. Now we've got a uh, little less than two minutes before Lady Death Whisper becomes active. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna go check out what's going on up here. If anything. Oh, this is cool. So, man, these guys all got torn to shreds. So this is where you go fight the boss, but uh, I, I mean, it's an older raid, so the um, it's not exactly where we're at today. But I wonder, I wonder if we could go look up there. I'll go look later. All right, she should be coming active here any second. Hopefully we'll get a piece of gear. Very likely not. I think I've killed over a dozen if, or more of these guys so far in this event, and I've only gotten... Well, I guess I've gotten a couple pieces of gear, so it's not, not terrible odds, but not great odds either. boss fights are pretty simple. N definitely not as hard as uh, the white collar battle. Not by a long shot. Just gotta not stand in the not stand in the stuff. The utility of your actions. This is pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing really else going on in this event other than a couple dailies to get. Yeah, so 45 pitch black scourge stones, 25 is a turn in, so that's almost two turn ins right there. So after the next boss, uh, I'll be able to do three turn ins, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that's. That's pretty much the event for right now. Um, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in week two. I know all of that information is already out there. You can go find it and see what's going to go on. But uh, I like to stay in the dark. Um, so maybe I'll do one of these for week two. We'll see. See what happens there. Um, I would like to try and do a Let's Play for my first opening few hours or so of Shadowlands. 
going into that blind, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, may or may not do that. All right, let's see if there's anything up here. Huh. Interesting. I wonder where the frozen throne is. I wonder if you can even get there from the outside. Hmm. Maybe not. Unless this was the frozen throne and now it's gone. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.